Well, hi again for those of you who are here for the first time. Hello and uh, welcome to Rescued Relics. My name is Shauna and I seek out treasures to rehome on eBay. Um, and if you are a returning visitor, thank you so much. Today I'm going to talk about uh, bookkeeping. I have been reselling for about a year and a half now and this is my second tax season and it is confusing and honestly it's the one thing that's kind of scared me off from doing my own business forever but I'm just gonna go with it so I I learned there's like different ways some people show videos where they um, they keep track of everything they inventory every single item and I started to do that and I was like man this is terrible if I really have to do this I don't know if I want to do this job because it is monotonous but some people love it and some people love to keep track of every single thing. I'm definitely not that person. I I will do the least amount that is required that'll, you know, help me get to where I need to be. So for me, um, I learned about uh, three different systems. It's called first in, first out, uh, last in, first out, and then another one called uh, the weighted average. And um, at first I started doing the uh, first in first out and that totally confused me so I made a whole new spreadsheet and I have been doing the uh, um, <clears throat> the average the weighted average so if you stick with me and um, see how I do it here it might just help you out I sure hope so I want it to be easier for everybody out there and if you guys like this kind of thing please like and subscribe and um, I will try and put out another one on how I uh, keep track of all my other stuff. And I did want to say I do use GoDaddy. That has helped me tons. Like at first I was trying to figure out exactly how many fees and what the fees were, especially with PayPal before the um, managed payments. But I really love GoDaddy. It totally breaks it down. All you have to do is download this thing and it's like, blah, all there. Yay. So. Let's not waste. Oh, and one more thing I have to tell you. I'm not a CPA. I'm not a certified accountant. I don't know anything. I'm not a professional of any of it. So please, this is just how I've been doing it. Don't, don't, uh, it's best to seek professional help to make sure you're doing all things right in regards to filing your taxes, state, local, federal, all of that. Okay, so let's get to it a periodic inventory system. So I'm going to bring everything over from last year. E seven four, and then cost per item. I already calculated that is a dollar ninety four, and total cost is three eight two four five three. Okay, so now we're gonna do this. I'm gonna do periodically, and I'm gonna do it once a month. So we're going to take the information from here, right? And then we're going to add it monthly over here and combine it with this after we subtract what we've sold. That's the plan. So then we'll have to do number items sold and then we do remaining amount huh I don't know hmm? we'll see I don't know we're gonna go here and January and I already calculated this out so January there was uh, I added 146 items uh, each of those was two dollars and thirty three cents total cost of inventory okay so we're gonna just block this puppy out for now and we're gonna make it red so you just stay there for a minute hmm. total cost of that was three hundred and forty dollars and twenty five cents okay so I have here January and I bought 146 new items and average that out by taking $340.25, dividing it by 146, and I came up with 
$2.33 per item. Now I need to find out how many items I sold. Subtract that. Do I ballpark this first? I probably add all of this together and then subtract it. Uh, new. Updated average. Where's what we're going to do? We're going to call that the updated average. So we would add this. Let's sum that. And then we'll sum this. Boop. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now we'll take this number divided by put that there and go divide, divide, divide. Where's my divider? Divide. Hmm. Six. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the number of items I sold, okay, and do something else from there. Okay, so now I have to go to eBay and find out how many items I sold in January. Okay, from the main eBay page, go to my eBay. Select selling go over to performance select sales now we're going to need to um, customize under sales because we only want January mm, okay and then we generate report and for me, I'm not sure if there's another way, maybe y'all can tell me, but what I did was I just added the quantity of items sold. And that was a total of 16 items in January. Where we are, number of items that we have sold is 16. Ha ha ha. Okay, so then we would take the 2120 minus those 16 items for the remaining number, right? So we'll push this little fella, take you minus, so we take 2120 minus 16 to get 2104. Then we would take the 2104 times $1.96. We're going to do that formula. 2104 times this new cost per item. And we get $4,133.35. <clears throat> and then we would take this amount and bring it over to February. February. And I think honestly, I'm gonna like section these off just because I feel like I'm gonna get so confused. I don't say January's red, just cause your nose gets red in January and it's so cold. I'm going to add the number of items. So let's say I bought 200 more items. Then it cost me uh, $400. Okay. Uh, that would be a cost of what? $2 per item. And then I would have to do the cost of goods again for that. So I'd say... 
weighted average. So we'd have 200 and, no wait, 2,320. We would add, we need to make that all dollars. So we would add this. All right, then, if you insist. So we take this amount and divide it. We take this, take that amount divided by that. Then that would be our new cost per item. And then if we sold, like, let's dream big and say we sold 60 items. We would take the 60 minus the 2,320. Take the 60. Actually, we'd probably do that first because then it would be a negative. We don't want that. All right, I'll try that again. Minus that $2,260 for the total. And then we take that 2,260 items times $1.97. We take, let's do the sum. Take this number and times it by that new cost per item. And that would be our total amount remaining. There you have it. Then what I would do is I'd probably put this in a different color so I don't get myself extra corn fused. Let's see, February. Oh, that's, that's love. All right, after talking to someone who knows a lot more than me, they suggested, one, they said it looks like that would work. And then they also said, why not add cost of goods sold? So then at the end of the year, we would have that amount as well. So I said, all right, and I was very excited. So let's see, 16 items sold. So we're gonna do our little formula at a dollar ninety six. Why'd you put an arrow there? Times, times, times sixteen. Perfect. Thirty one forty three. And if it were real and I sold sixty items in February, which would be super awesome. What do people call that when something that you put out into the universe comes to fruition? Manifestation! That's it. Times $1.97. And then we would total that down here at the end of the year. Let's make this green. Like green money money. Fill that fella up. Boop. Do you hear that cat? That's my sister's cat. <laughs> such a character he just loves love okay now all right so that's it for today um please note that I, I the only kind of numbers I do I've I, I took a class in college like 20 years ago but I am not a professional by any means I just did some research and it was really confusing and frustrating and it was like there was some magic formula or something that I couldn't find. So when I figured this out, I just wanted to share it with everybody. You know, it's so exciting when you figure something out that, you know, kind of stopped you in your tracks and been like, well, what do I do? So um, hope it helped. If it did, I'd really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed and uh, come back and the husband went through some of the uh, packages or some of the items that I bought when he was gone. So uh, you can see him going through the bags when I went thrifting. I'll post that video next time. Okay, thanks.